Hi, my name is Rob, and I'm here today to talk about comms. I'm going to go back to the very beginning of comms. There's a lot of preconceived notions about comms, and people think they know what's going on, and a lot of times they race past the basics and miss very important things. Um, this isn't how to use comms. This is how to build comms and understand comms. Uh, comms 101. I hope to be doing a number of these things, building on the uh, knowledge that we get as we move along. So comms 101, talking from end to end. Um, comms is all about a conversation and being able to have a conversation over a wire or over some machines or something. So um, I'm sorry I can't make the full the screen full screen today, uh, just dealing with some limitations, but I wanted to get this out and get it started. So comms always starts with a person. That person is going to be here. Um, that person, let's back that up. He's going to be here. And in order to use comms, he's got to have some equipment. First, he's got some earphones. I've drawn, drawn those in blue. And then he's got a microphone. I've drawn that in red. Because honestly, this is the two basic parts of comms. I told you this was going to be basic. Now, we have a talk path that goes from his microphone somewhere, and then we have a listen path that goes from somewhere to his earphones. I work in television, so I'm going to draw a television truck with wheels. I know, thank you. Pretty amazing artist. So, from the perspective of going from the equipment to the person, Blue for listen, red for talk. Did you know that these are the same idea that we found all the way back in the telephone? Oops, that's not the color I wanted to use. The telephone uses half a receiver that is red and half a receiver that is blue. And there's a talk path and a listen path. Listen, talk, right? Now, these have been combined this is the magic. This is why you're here. These have been combined by the little telephone, which is a box here and has a dial. And as it goes out of your house, it's going over what I'm going to draw as a purple wire. And that purple wire has both arrows on it. Because I don't know if you've ever built any telephone cables, but there's only two wires inside. Now, if you took this cable here, this has four wires inside. Go to your desk, pick it up, and check me out. This wire over here has two wires, and this over here has four. Some reds and some blues. Now these are figurative colors, but the truth remains. Up here from the house, or from the telephone to the company, it's two wires. Down here in the handset, to the microphone and the speaker, it's four wires. So, I would say that I've just explained to you the difference in between two wire comms and four wire comms. And with that knowledge, the difference between two and four you know more about comms than most people in the industry. In the next video, I'll give you some part numbers and some descriptions of what devices are two wire and what devices are four wire and what devices convert in between. Tune in.